My name's Jake, and I found a bunch of pornographic magazines inside a dead man's house. Not just any old magazines. Australian softcore pornography from the early 90s. Now, me and my little mate Pete want to invite you to have a look at some pretty rude stuff with us. So hold on to your stiffies, everyone, and welcome to Smut Club 1990. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Smut Club 1990, the only podcast where we peruse. Fuck it, I did oh, it. Oh, first one. Peruse. First fucked one. Oh, it's been well, only a matter of time. Where, no, I got, you too, got, it. No, go I got on. too confident. Go, go. No, 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 Ladies go. and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Smut Club 1990, the only podcast where we peruse 1990s you know, Australia. Oh, pornography. My name's Jake Who's Smith. Here? <laughs> and I'm yeah, joined where, where, in the shed out the back of mum and dad's house by a little, my little my mate from you guys below. Peter James, how are you, buddy? Good, man. Yeah. <laughs> how are you, dude? Yeah, yeah. Frustrated after that, but um, still. I, it was amazing how well you did me trying to fuck you up. You smashed it. You didn't I know, I've got, yeah, a little bit. I've got to close my eyes. and. No, you've done a really nice job. I, I, I can tell you were going to fuck it up before you started because right. you always look away. You never do it looking at me. And that one, you did it looking at me. Yeah. And I knew it was going to be too much yeah, for you. It was too intense of an experience. Yeah. The tension was way too high. The sexual chemistry, which we have not spoken no. about in our entire friendship, <laughs> which is probably a good time to do it now that we've encountered it once again. No. Do you feel it? No, I feel nothing. Yeah, neither. I um, feel so anyway, we're back for another <laughs> week. Um, you're young and you're virile still. I feel like I'm I'm in, I'm in my thirties, I'm in my early thirty one. Mm-hmm. Yes, yep. and I uh, I feel it turning. I feel it turning. I feel nothing anymore. Oh, like, you've got a lot a lot less um, lust in your heart. I think, uh, yeah, the, really? the libido's gone. Yeah, it's now replaced with the all-consuming rage. Yeah, and it is all-consuming. Yeah. The moment we come down, we were just talking about this before we started recording. Yeah. The second, it was probably 15 minutes before you said, hi, how are you? Before yeah. you stopped screaming about some cunt that did this or that. <laughs> and, and not major. It's not like the, it's like some cunt who stole my car. Some no, cunt no, who no, broke no, in no. my house. Just no, some no. cunt who sent me a message. Yeah, sent you a message. <laughs> and hilariously, a very positive message. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, you'll, ne- you, uh, you'll never see Jake angry about someone angry at him. That's the one thing oh, no, I've no, learned no. about you. No, no, that's fine. If someone's angry at you, someone has a grievance with you, you go, oh, whatever, you know, fuck that, you know that's their opinion. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Someone says, thanks for the spot last night, mate. Great club. You go, God, you're a fucking mouth-breathing little psycho. <laughs> Why would you fucking message me that? The day no, the I sun think- is up. We don't speak <laughs> when the sun is up. No, I reckon it's like... Um I'm like WinRA free trial. Like you get two weeks. Actually, no, you get four messages. After that, I produce an invoice or it's deemed assault. If you make my phone go <laughs> off from outside without my... that's You don't have my consent to make my phone go bing. Yep. Yep. I mean, it's on Do Not Disturb. It's been on Do Not Disturb for a year. <laughs> <laughs> then they, they disturb. They do disturb. Disturb away. No, you, like, you don't like... A, p- a picture being attached to a message. I think that's it. Because a Facebook, you know, it's got a profile picture. You can see their face. You can hear their voice. Email, easy. Oh, you love that. You love an email. Yeah, a, a professional email though. Yeah. Not one with a joke in it. Mm, no, like, no, no, no. no, like no, why, no yeah, I, why, why are we joking in an email? Yeah. Like, I think it's... Like, still, if you work at the circus, you still have to fill out the application and sign a waiver. <laughs> it's not It's not that you go into the circus and the HR guy's juggling the form. Like, it's still a fucking business. <laughs> it's not all, oh, this guy runs the comedy club. Hardy, 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 ha. Let's tell him a joke, see if that catches his fancy. As if I'm going to look up, put my cigar down, bit of ash falls on the yeah. ashtray, put down like, the classifieds and go, hey, I think you got something. <laughs> hey, that, that email really tickled me. Wait, your headline on Friday, kid. No, cunt. Tell me when you're available. Please make it short. <laughs> I love the idea of Never ends. doing like circus <laughs> jokes in a circus email. <laughs> so you like the clown emails the the ringleader, yeah. the ringmaster, yeah. and he goes, uh, "I have a picture. I have a, I have a flower. If you would like to smell, see attached." <laughs> and you and you hit the attach. Oh, it's a splash emoji of water. <laughs> <laughs> the juggler just sends three emails but retracts them. <laughs> <laughs> Resends them. You go, what's going on here? Oh, I can't. It's not letting me play the MP3. Through. I'll have to download it. 30 seconds. Okay, open through VLC. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny noise. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay. 
Now, Peter, getting into the smart, yeah. of which the club is based, um, we have a couple more articles left in in this in this one. So this is still the picture magazine at number fucking whatever it is. Oh, it's so frayed. How oh number number two hundred fifty six from nineteen ninety three, mm-hmm. August nineteen ninety three, to be precise. Is this a year? Oh, hold on, when I'm trying to find the exact date. The August. What do you mean? Is this a year? Well, no, August fourth. I was wondering. I knew it was somewhere in August. I'd be wondering if it was the exact date. If we're oh, doing like an anniversary. August fourth. What are we yeah. now? Like August eighteen. Okay. Yeah. Um, Two weeks late. But anyway, so whatever. All right. So we've got here a couple of articles. We're going to do two pages today. I've already decided. Oh, what a thrill! Now we've got. Okay, we've got a choice here. We've got I Fernanda, which is one of the um, one of the centerfolds. So it's a little bit I about I Fernanda. I Fernanda. Fernanda's her name, it seems. And it's also got uh, an um, article. I wonder who is the editor for this one. It says, Pouchy pets in brain splattering peril. Rue one day, poo the next. Could it be a little guy in a fedora running around a wheel? <coughs> yes. Um, the very same Darren Hamster. Or we've oh, got... Oh, fuck. I thought it was Jack Mouse. No. Sorry. No, I thought it, no, sorry. I thought it was Jack Mouse. I apologise. <coughs> Sammy Squirrel. Um... Or we've got Pommy Punks out spunk Madonna, and I can see already there's a bunch of naked blokes um, on the page. And then we've got, oh, this is just fun to say. It's uh, pop, a, pop a chunk chock in your gob. <laughs> what? Pop a chunk chock in your gob. Pop a chunk chock in, in your gob. gob. Yeah. And that seems to be oh. about some kind of sexual uh, ch- sexual uh, chocolate. Chonk means to have sex. I As th- in chonka chonka chonka. Yeah. <laughs> You remember? I think all chocolate is sexual. <laughs> um, I personally find the Fredder Frog to be a very, a very attractive frog. I find Ferrero Rocher is pretty much the perfect shape for the, ma- the male asshole. <laughs> my asshole specifically. I find the Chomp Bar mm. with its gooey caramel and its um, sort of cr- crunchy undercoat. Perfect yeah. for the uh, urethra, formerly known, <laughs> Who's the formerly known as the eye of them. Um, I. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, who's the sexiest um, uh, chocolate mascot? They're all blokes. The sexiest sure chocolate they're... mascot? No, 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 no. The M M&M and M that they made, not sexy. Oh, that's right. Why can't we just have a sexy chocolate? You know, there's no Sheila chocolate mascots. Uh, Think of one. Really. Um, Fine, think about it. I think it's too sexual already, Chalky, to put like a voluptuous lady with big fat titties and a dump truck ass on there. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm just want to enjoy my chocolate. Put like a little boy who's a geeky little kid in overalls and go, Milky Bars. Go, yeah. yeah, I can enjoy that. Yeah. But imagine it was some sexy voluptuous slapper going, <laughs> some slatinly woman going, you want some fucking chocolate, big boy? I'm like, Tunnel no, Anderson with three tin tans <laughs> yeah. between her tits. No, chocolate doesn't, it's already sexual it enough. It is very sexual. Well, I reckon my gut feeling is... Uh, Naughty Chockies and the Nerd Dirts, because I'm I, I can I'm looking across the table at the magazine. It's a bit far away. I can barely see it, but there is a man that's just weirdly, very weirdly, standing naked in a field, and it's very appealing to me. Perfect. Well, um, it's decided then. So let's just do what's open right now. Let's yes, do that. perfect. Okay, so this one is Pommy Punk. Oops, sorry, Pommy Punks out spunk Madonna. Madonna. Okay. Yes. <coughs> now it says here a cheeky Pommy Punk band has published a piss take of Madonna's book, Sex, uh, that, um, ha- which makes the original seem incredibly sexy. Do you, are you familiar with her book? Uh, no, are it, you? Uh, yeah, it was called Sex, mm-hmm. and it was pictures of her doing chunk. <laughs> Is it really? Getting chunked, yeah. Really? Yeah, no, I don't think it was hardcore. I remember yeah, quite famously, just- Vanilla Rice was in it. Oh wow! It was her doing the chunk with him. I'm gonna have a look at this. Yeah, have a look now. Madonna book. The book is called Sex. Yes, and it's just a picture book. (coughs) Yeah, not not a pop up, but yeah. Now that's sick. (laughs) That would be sick. Uh, Madonna. Actually, I'm gonna have a quick look at this too. If you're listening, Google long as well, and you can see what we're seeing on the little internet. Um, So, book by Madonna. Three point five out of five on Goodreads. (laughs) Eighty-three percent. Have it on good. Five out of five on good wanks. Um, okay, so here we go. Uh, just a little bio of the book. Sex is a 1992 coffee table book mm-hmm. written by American entertainer Madonna with photography by Stephen Mysore Studio, Fabian Barron. It was edited by Glenn O'Brien, uh, Glenn O'Brien, apologies, and published by Warner Books, Maverick and Callaway. Now, if we go images, I assume there's going to be... Um, 
So the book includes cameos by uh, actress Isabella Rossellini, rappers Big Daddy Kane, and oh, Vanilla I love Ice. Big Daddy Kane. Big Daddy Kane. Oh wow! Did, does he pop a pop a chunk? <laughs> um, so it's rather. Uh, so it's just a lot of sort of topless Madonna. No one's rooting, but it, oh wow! <laughs> What? Who is that? It's a picture of Madonna and she's like biting a man's nipple. Yeah. And stretching it so far. Oh, I just saw that. Oh, Did, that. Are you oh, yeah, that? yeah, that yeah, yeah. Got the same one over here. That is crazy, man. Dude, yeah. look how fine where her teeth have bitten the nipple. Look how oh, fine man, the can't nipple can't is. That look, is crazy. That is actually that. crazy. I, I highly recommend that. looking that up. That's nuts. But it's a lot of topless. Oh, there's a suit. Oh, my. Oh, okay. No, no. The yeah. reason it's fine is because it's a piercing. So it's not skin, it's a piercing. Holy shit. It looked like it was flesh being torn What, off. so she's got the piercing, she's got the ring in her mouth? Yeah, she's just got the piercing. And she's pulling that so out. So the actual that still makes me coming feel, that far it out. It still but, makes um, me feel fucking ill. So yeah, Madonna sex, a lot of topless Madonna, and it's pictures of her, and it looks like she's about to have sex. Like people are taking off her, yeah. you know, and she's like kissing. Glamour, her. glamour photography. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. mean to, just a quick one. If you have a nipple piercing and, uh, and, and you're a fella, straight to lock up. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. You You're, and uh, you, you and your uncle, wherever he is, bring him in for questioning too immediately. I'm yeah. sorry if anyone is a, a man. If you're a man that has a uh, nipple piercing, uh, don't reach out. Um, yeah, if you're a man with a nipple piercing, firstly, turn off the Ferris wheel that you are running and go straight to the psychiatric <laughs> hospital because you are a nightmare. It's. Uh, uh, so do you have any piercings? I don't have any piercings. Oh, yeah. No, you don't have any piercings. I do. Both my ears. No, do you? How's this never come up? You don't know that. Both my ears. I don't know that. Yeah. God, you would fucking look like such a genie if you put your earrings in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you never <laughs> seen me with both my earrings in? No. Surely this is. Are come the holes up. still are yep. open? I That's keep. Weird. I keep them. I got them pierced in two thousand eight, and I keep them open, um, <sighs> just because it's like it comes up on a costume thing or some blah blah. blah if I want to. Oh, I don't know if we can keep doing this podcast knowing that. Both I don't of like them. that. I'll get pictures later. Ooh. It's fucking hectic. Anyways, back to this. <clears throat> okay, says so. Uh, these fellas have punk bands done like a parody shoot, yeah? Yeah. It says, fat, ugly, and freaking proud of it. Uh, the lads from never heard of them before and probably never will again, rock group. <laughs> <laughs> get em, oh, get sucked in. Uh, so the rock group, uh, what Tyler... Uh, Stripped off and pranced and pouted in front of the cameras in the same poses as Madonna. Yeah, great. Sexless is the name of the book, and it features, frankly, quite horrifying pics of the zany musos dressed up in leather and bondage gear, sho- <laughs> shoving their fingers up each other's bottoms, skirting baby oil over themselves, mm-hmm. climbing walls, dackless and hitchhiking nude. <laughs> 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 Boys, we should do a book. Can we stick each other's fingers in ourselves? Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to climb that wall, Dackless. You take a photo. Yeah, that'll that'll show Madonna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take that, Madonna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're fucking crazy. Oh, man. yeah. Oh, the camera was off. We've got to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they've even created some of the star's wanking stories in childlike handwriting. Oh, almost identical to that used in sex. One Dear Bruce letter from a bloke strangely enough called Sean uh, tells how a bloke got to grips with his donger. I'm going to hand this over to you at this point. Okay, has it said something fucked and you don't I don't say know. It? I, I haven't read any of this. I haven't even skimmed these ones, so it's just up the top there. So after donger. Okay. Donger, very funny for a penis. You were the first person to tell me about wanking, Sean wrote. You said you wanked every day and sometimes twice and you used to hit the ceiling with your cum. Oh, Eventually, Sean managed it. Not quite the ceiling, but I had a wank. (laughs) 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 Immediately coming clean. You see the ceiling on my cum. No, sorry, I've lied there. No, I haven't. But it was very... I was a big cum. I did do a big cum. (laughs) It was undeniably big, but it wasn't ceiling. No. Um, Ceiling. It it depends how high to the roof you are. What do you reckon the the furthest cum you've ever done is? In... um, like just yeah, all right, if I'm li- if I'm lying down, mm-hmm. he hit like the pillow beside me. Is in so whatever the the length from cock to head is, yeah, a meter. Do you reckon you've outcome that? Because I think that hundred percent. I know I have. I know well, I have a yeah, but were you? I don't want to be crass here. I have a feeling like the the propulsion 
is halfway to do with the you've, you're putting in a bit of work with your arm as well. Do you know what I mean? I find my gesticulating yeah, well, on a fucking it podcast. It doesn't but yeah. count if you come in your hand and throw it. No, I, <laughs> if that's what you're trying to say. I know. I've got a funny story about that. I'll tell you after. Oh, after <laughs> yeah. I think now is the perfect time. No, 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 it's all. Um, no, I remember um, legal, but very disgusting. Go yeah, on. did a no. It was it was on the on the business side of a plonk. Right. The end. Yeah. Um, out. So uh, on the side. Mm-hmm. Right, laying on the side. Picture <laughs> my back on I the. I don't, don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Picture in my beautiful, smooth, dolphin-like back. <laughs> oh fuck! So I, my back is on the side of the bed. Yeah. Right. Queen mattress, opposite floor. Right. So. <laughs> like, yeah. Right. Yeah, so. So back, that was, I, I, and that was freehand. No, look, mum, no hands. Completely freehand. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I still remember it. Like and, yeah, right. and laugh. Have you ever laughed during a cum? Yeah, all the time. Where you go, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> whoa we both were like, whoa, yeah. fuck it up. Yeah, That's yeah, crazy. Right. That's great. So anyway, there's my did a cum story. I'm yeah. sad that you weren't able to share yours. <laughs> um, so anyway, he continues on with his quote. I'm um, talking about his cum. So for months after, <laughs> once every couple of days, I pretended to have baths. <laughs> what a prank. He continued. <laughs> I thought I was clever. <laughs> I imagine that. All right, guys, I'm off for a bath. Okay, sure. Getting in the shower, just going, you fucking idiots. <laughs> Got another one over you, you dumb cunt. <laughs> just standing next to an empty bath. Going <laughs> 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 well, there's going to be egg on your fucking face, boys, when you see this. I'm going to absolutely smell like shit after this because I'm not in the water. <laughs> So I thought I was clever with the baths, mm. but my parents must have known I'd never had baths before. <laughs> Band manager Ian Ballard, Tom's dad, <laughs> to see him here, insisted the whole thing was a complete joke. I'm sure Madonna would laugh if she saw it, he speculated. But Madonna's publicist wasn't so sure. Oh. Ooh, the drama. These people do not have our permission to copy or recreate any photos in Madonna's book, she said. She won't be happy about this. If this is just a parody and humour, then we then they may get away with it. What um, do you mean? How of could it not be parody and humour? Look at these weird little fucking turtle-backed... <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that. I, you, don't, you know what? You don't see that anymore, the outrage over copying someone like that. Yeah. Because like, well, but, but, now it's like the internet's everywhere and everyone copies everything and parodies everything on TikTok, replicates and steals it. So now everyone's just like... Yeah, whatever, man. You're going to do a, a meme yeah. about me. It's going to be memed instantly and gone on the fucking John Stewart fucking tonightly, whatever, ding dong, yeah. right? But that is so far. She's not going to be happy about this. Imagine that. Just going, hey, Madonna, some cunts from some fucking punk band like did a funny thing where they got their dicks out. And imagine her going, oh, no. Yeah, that they that oh, this no. magazine called them what? Fucking just saying that no one even knows who they are. I don't yeah. think their band even got mentioned in this. Yeah, it's what, th- what Tyler or something like that. But I only looked yeah, it up. Who gives a f- like? Where is the competition of this weird <coughs> fucking naked man in a car park? You know, with his little cock and his. Oh, is that? A, I think he's got a bag of KFC. Hmm. Yum. Yeah. Why don't you describe the uh, the the fellas? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, the, that that guy has said he's in a car park, completely naked, got Doc Martin boots <laughs> on, long hair, long beard, um, similar to that of a religious figure. Um, known as G Zus. Oh yes. Um, and he's got a, yeah a bag of KFC and he's trying to get picked up. Another right. guy's got like a sleeping mask, but the holes for the eyes have been cut out. He's got a choker chain on. Yep. He's got a bra made of it looks like shells, but they're not shells, but like big circular things for a bra. Weird yep. little gimp leather undies on, <laughs> and it looks like a wallet chain. Yeah, I fucking hate that one. That um, makes me feel physically sick. That. So one. that's the second one. The other one is very funny. So it's a guy and he's like silhouetted. To a window, standing in a window, looking out of it. He's doing the only way I could describe the pose is frog legs. Yep. So he's sort of in a half squat. Yep. Um, <laughs> which is uh, a position revealing. best unclothed. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> for a for a female, passable. You can get away with the frog pose. Yeah. For a man, his little coin purse is hanging between <laughs> his legs, and there's a slight bit of knobbage. And it is silhouetted and very uncomfortable to look at. And then the other one, it looks like a prison break scene. He's jumping a wall. 
Um, and it would appear that the security guards have gone to dive tackle him and have just sort of um, hooked his belt loops <laughs> and taken his pants off. So he's got his weird little baby-born ass. <laughs> it is a baby-born ass. A Why do middle-aged British men have such a sad ass? He's still got socks on, so they've taken his shoes. But yeah, he does have a very unfortunate, sad, awful ass. Well, um, well yeah. how about this? Now, the, the pictures said that they, no one knows this band, but it says here, I've just Googled them, what Tyler were an English punk slash novelty band of the late 1980s and 1990s? Fronted by Sean Forbes alongside Simon Tucker and Smithy. Now, uh, they've done a bunch of things in here. It even says in 1993, their Madonna parodying EP, Sexless, was made single of the week in Anime and Kerrang, oh, as wow. well as given the band national press exposure on a top 10 UK indie chart hit. Oh, so they've done a whole bunch of other things that were parodies. They've done parodies of the Prodigies album, Porter's Heads, yada, 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 Porter's Heed. Or is it Porter's Head or Porter's Heed? Sorry if I pronounced your favourite band wrong. Sorry if I pronounced your favourite band wrong. Um... <laughs> 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 Angry little man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, so yes, there you go. How, how about that? Well, that's quite interesting. Is there anything more in that article there, Peter? Uh, that is it. That is all to that one. Uh, so that's fine. Well, I'm glad to hear the boys did well. They, they've definitely suffered for that. Well, they've made me suffer for their art because they've <laughs> awful little asses and weird little scrotums. <laughs> So good on them. May I have the magazine, please? Oh, would you like the magazine? May I have the magazine? Oh, for well, a bit well, actually, longer? no, no, no. You, you read the start of this May article. I start the one of the articles. Sorry, please? I'm so sorry. Do I have to inherit half an article every time we get the magazine? <laughs> Kramer! <laughs> <Anyway. laughs> you had Sam Campbell to Jerry Seinfeld then. <laughs> yeah, so um, very similar. Anyway, so open wide, pop a chonk, chock in your gob. <laughs> Um, so here we go. <coughs> yep. uh, we'll describe the pictures later. I think that seems to be the move. Sure. Um, in a genius move, a very brainy <coughs> Italian chocolate maker has very cleverly drawn horny pictures from the root-filled Kama Sutra on the latest range of mouth-watering chalky treats. Root film? Root-filled. Oh, root-filled. I thought, yeah, root uh, filled I'm like, I thought, Kama Sutra. I thought that they thought Kama Sutra was a film. No, it's a, it's oh, a right. hot little book. So they've put them the little rooting pictures on chocolates. That's fun. Nice. Uh, though it was written... Uh, 1,600 years ago, the Kama Sutra is still regarded as the Bible of bonking. Do you remember... Oh, you know, you're too young, I guess, but do you remember when, like, people were buying books, like, before the internet, mm. and you'd be like, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit of a fucking Lothario. All the 18, 19-year-olds, obviously, mm-hmm. be like, yeah, I'm going out doing roots. I'm going to get the Idiot's Guide to Sex and the Kama Sutra, like, it's the fucking... Heart. Like, there's... Sorry, I, I don't know about you. I've done root... Mm-hmm. It's like f- f- four good ways to do it. Maybe an extra one or two bonus rounds. Yeah. That's it. And then you're like, oh, yeah, but what if you cock your leg up and fucking close one eye and turn up to the moon a little bit and then put your hand up? It's like, no, that's shit. Why would you do that? Just yeah. do the normal four and then yeah. the other two if you feel like it. Yeah, there, there's a lot of um, a, a huge amount of impracticality in a lot of that sort of business, isn't there? Yeah. It's like, why would we both cross our legs? <laughs> like, have you ever seen what they're suggesting there? Yeah. Fuck off. It's like a game of Twister gone awry. No, thank you. Yeah, it's... um, And I'll also say, as well, so I've got three pictures of the chocolates here. Well, just to, to sort of further your point. Sure. Um, I'm going to go into the pictures to say, yep. these pictures, by default, are not useful to me because of how many people are on these chocolates. Oh, yeah. Uh, notoriously, it's been me and one other person. Notoriously. So in this one, this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> right. How many? This is So you've got four... A male, three women. Um, cool. But the man yeah. is doing like a B-boy headstand. <laughs> oh, a bit of capoeira. So he's on his head balancing. The only thing that's keeping him up is grabbing the legs of the two ladies to the side. Yeah. Who aren't being penetrated. They're just sort of in a sport <laughs> role. <laughs> right, so you've got these two yeah. gold posts disguised as Sheila's, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's grabbing them, follow them up. They're holding the lady who's being suspended and they're pretty much just... Grabbing her leg, her arm, and just jackhammering her on the record. Could you be lazier? Why? You're talking about just doggy style, <laughs> inverted upside down with two people moving for you. Mate, you didn't fall off a horse. Your leg works. <laughs> Fucking do it yourself. You don't need two ladies to come over. <laughs> Dressed in theatre blacks? Yeah, you got fucking. Yeah. Like, you know, like, one, of those, <laughs> like a one of those puppet shows. Yeah, yeah, like. <laughs> Like, you're, like you've taken a, a room full of drama students to a puppetry yep. show and you go, no, the point is to not watch the puppeteers. You have to watch... And it's about suspending disbelief. Yeah, it's ridiculous. There is no need. That's not a... Posi- anyway, so they've put that on a fucking chocolate and now yeah, I have to dumb. look at so it. So you've never done that? 
No. Virgin. <laughs> <laughs> like the others make sense. One's like a wheelbarrow. She's getting plonked. I get it. Yeah, how's a wheel? What's the? Wheel- I've always. I remember hearing about the wheelbarrow. What is the wheelbarrow? It's like a wheelbarrow that you do in fucking gym class. But you. Inst- Why would that be what you wanted to do? I've never done that. And then they start. Running on their hands and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> That's very great I've used a wheelbarrow More than I've done the wheelbarrow Like that's I've, that's, I've fucked a wheelbarrow <laughs> <laughs> Nothing turns Wheel. me on more than We looked that up So what You put the Like the legs to the side Like you yeah, Like your fireman the Carrying the leg Yeah What do you I mean, mean? It doesn't look fun Hold Anyway on. so we're continuing Yeah I just so it was The Bible of bonking uh, Which is why it's good news That you can now Pop bits of it in your mouth Suck hard Then swallow With a big smiley Hmm <laughs> Um, the candid confectionery depicts special moments from the ancient <laughs> grunted up guide, like knob gobbling. <laughs> Four way fuck Wait, fests. whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> what is this? The candid confectionery depicts yep. special moments okay. from the ancient grunted up guide. Yep, gotcha. Like knob gobbling. Ah, oh, yes. Four way fuck fests, <laughs> upside down bonking, and <laughs> caressing of the ghoulies. <laughs> Your turn. So. <laughs> Imagine that you're floating on your fucking your internet dating, your old Tinder, your Bumble. Because yeah, what's your favourite position, baby? Oh, me? Hmm, probably four-way fuck vest. <laughs> oh, like, what, dog, you're a missionary? Nah, oh, knob gobbling. <laughs> well, just getting my ghoulies caressed, to be honest. Caress my ghoulies. Caressing, upside down bonking. Oh, that's what that would have been. Ridiculous. F- fucking Truly hell. ridiculous. <clears throat> Anyway, continue on. It says, readers will recall that at the outset of this story, we called the unnamed but champ chocolatier a genius. Now, in capitals, we did not do so lightly. So let's see. This must be pretty impressive. The inventor of Chonking Chocks is a genius because he's ensured the Kama Sutra will be the one book blokes chomp their way through in the 21st century. Okay. He's not wrong. No, I haven't no, eaten another wrong. book. <laughs> he is wrong. No one's no one's reading it now. He's no. saying it's going to continue on. Yeah, no, I, I think he's saying they're going to continue on eating it. Like it's going to be the only book they'll ever eat. Let's see what it says. Okay. It says he's realised that the only way the written word is going to survive in the next thousand years is if people whack it in their gobs and eat it. Okay, he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he's a fucking, yeah. I almost said a slur. Uh, when the Kama Sutra... But then you, so you can't be putting important information on food because people are going to be so hungry that they take bites out of it before they've read it. You're going to take a big bite out of a burger and you're going to go, what's this say? Bush did... Bush did what? <laughs> Bush did what? I already fucking took a bite. <laughs> Bush did what? <laughs> All right. I've just solved the... Uh, the <laughs> worked out the cure to world hunger. Just going to write it on this sandwich. <laughs> And pop it over near that developing nation. Oh, no, you fucking... God. Well, that's meta. Go to world hunger on this sandwich. It just says, this sandwich. <laughs> it just says, eat me. <laughs> yeah, we do that for... Give everyone a sandwich. <laughs> then when they're done, give everyone another sandwich. Simple if you think about it. Repeat, repeat, repeat. <clears throat> All right, that's going to sound... Nah, that is dumb. I was just thinking. Nah, that's dumb. You could just give. Surely we have enough, the like the production means to just make everyone a sandwich per day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I reckon we've got the. We I, could. I'll tell you what. We could solve world hunger if two things take place. Yeah. One. Everyone yeah. in the world decides yeah. that the end bits of bread. Yep. Yeah. Just They're go fine. into a. You put them into like a Vinny's, like a bin. Wait. Do you eat them or not? Uh, I, I'll eat them mm, yeah. But a lot of people Toss them away So that yeah. has to ha- take place Everyone puts those in a bin They get collected And then the people That are really hungry Have to not be super picky And just have the end bits You get an end bit of bread You get an end bit of bread Sandwich every day Yep Yep fair enough Everyone's good But I did, Like I obviously know There's money and stuff involved But we couldn't Like we can preserve food now Can't we just Just give everyone a sandwich Go radio We'll I don't know. I don't know. We have to work it out. There will obviously be some kind of stall, some kind of kiosk involved. How many people are there in the world? Oh, there's like, there'd have to be double Heap. digits at this point. Heaps. Fucking heaps. There'd eh? have to be a lot of them. But even if we just, even to save on costs, I reckon the second slice of bread is optional. Oh, making an open, gr- open, <laughs> open. Just do open. Open grill. Yeah. Mm. It is getting a bit costly though. 
Yeah, fuck them, actually. Yeah, you know what? Let's go buy a jet. <laughs> <laughs> you buy another fucking... But it is crazy. It is crazy that that is still, like, an issue. Like, it should be so easy to be solved with the amount of money that he's getting around. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean in, I'm just being technologically, like, is it not... How can we not just make it and, like, you can preserve food forever? Imagine if that's what we had to cure it with, like, heavily preserved food. So they're eating, like, prosciutto and salami. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, this is, this was, this is meat... That will survive <laughs> ages and they're just eating Dropping this. a Shakir tree board from a plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A little, with a little fucking parachute. Real, but it's really decadent preserved cheeses. Yeah. Like this. I wouldn't know. Uh, anyways, it says, when the Kama Sutra was published in... <laughs> that's an edit point. Uh, when the Kama Sutra was published in way back... Fuck. <laughs> that's, oh, no, that's it. When the Kama Sutra was published in way back... Fuck. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's in the lingo now. Yeah. Uh, published well, in the way back fuck. In way back fuck. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. awesome. There was no telly, which meant folks had a lot more time to do things like reading. Yeah. But now blokes have a lot better things to do with their time than plough through boring bastard books, mm-hmm. uh, says here in a published <clears throat> a magazine. Uh, so I've got stuff like watching footy. These are all things better than books. Uh, watching footy, yep. drinking beer, and nothing much else really. Yeah, fair enough. And uh, blokes can do all these things while at the same time having a bit of a feed and learning how to improve their rooting routine. Sick. Kama Sutra chocks have got to be the best thing since Fredo Frog. Hmm. That seems crowbarred in there, isn't it, didn't it? Yeah. What do you think about that? I don't... I, I don't... Yeah. <sighs> well, chocolate has to taste good. Fuck <laughs> tales all the time, mate. Chocolate has to taste good. The chocolate has to be good. It's got yeah. to be good chocolate if yeah. it's going to get through to people. Yeah. Um, I think what the funny thing about this chocolate with the rooting on it is, you know, when you eat a chocolate and it's got a print, there is a method. You know, everyone's got a method. Like you get a Freddo, you go on body first, you go on head. Or do you not? Ha- I, in my, I've always gone like. You go, you eat the head first. I haven't had enough to really remember. It. Yeah, head first, I guess. If I ha- I'm picturing one in my mind's eye, I'm going to pop it in my gob. I'm going the, the head first. Yeah, and I would eat to the neckline. But it's Obviously, you eat to the neckline. You eat to the lines and the chocolate and you work your way down, right? Yeah. Bit of fun. But with this, it's like... <laughs> I guess you start with the head as well. I guess so. But like of his cock, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'd 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 bite around certain figures in the in the four way fuck fest oh my just God. to make Hang it on, weird. No, 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 no. I've actually, you know, when I was describing the fuck fest before with the dudes on his head, yeah, and he's fucking the chick. Yeah, he is not holding the chick's legs to the side as stability. He's got his hand in their vagina, using it as an anchor point. Fuck <laughs> me. <laughs> that would have made Cliffhanger a different film, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> just fucking. Four fingers in being like, fuck him, I found your pelvic shelf. I'm slipping. I'm oh slipping. Oh my God. Imagine that. What I don't know what circumstances would lead that, but you fall off the side of a cliff <laughs> or a building. You reach up and go, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that is sick. That's funny. I actually might try that now. What? This. <laughs> I didn't like it, but that's pretty cool. Yeah. Awful. That's sick. He's like that scene in Spider Man where he's in front of the train. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, when he goes where he stops to the train oh, and he's yeah. on either side. <laughs> <laughs> but instead of it being around a train, he's rooting a chick. Yeah, he's just and instead of shooting web, he's just <laughs> no hanging onto the inside of someone. Deep knocking. <laughs> oh god! Oh fuck! Funny. Actually, I'm looking at this now. He's rooting Doctor Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! That's All right. Sick. Well, that was that was very fun. That was fun. Now next week we can do we can learn about Fernanda and the um and the Roo poo. The what? The Roo poo. The kangaroo poo. I don't know. I don't remember that. What was the kangaroo poo? Was it the start? Is it? Go. Keep going around. Keep keep going. There's three pages in this thing. That one. Oh yeah. Roo one day poo the next. Oh, just oh, that fast. Nice? Wow, that's Fernanda is a beautiful woman. I keep telling you, buddy. There's something wow. to this. I'm starting to get it. Yeah. Um, well, that was fun. That was great. Was great. We learned about chocolate that give you stiffies. 
Uh, yep. And not because they're Viagra chocolates, just because the chocolates are so mm. fun to look at. And then men that were, um, get nude, like Madonna did. Mm. Oh, isn't that fun? Oh, there you go. Uh, well, that's great. Um, well, that was a fun time. Uh, Jacob, what have you got going on? What, 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 what can the oh. lovely listeners oh. that are based in Brisbane do on, say, a Wednesday or a Thursday or a Friday night every day of the week, or even a Monday occasionally? You can come down to Good Chat Comedy Club mm-hmm. at 52 Petrie Terrace on Caxton Street mm-hmm. uh, on, on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and occasional Mondays, occasional Tuesdays, and occasional Saturdays. But uh, more importantly, actually, from September the 2nd all the way through the 25th inclusive, we have 25 days straight of comedy shows. That's right. You heard right. Uh, two, two, two shows minimum per night. You can come down. You can see a bunch of different uh, solo shows, mm-hmm. uh, variety, improv, musical, comedy. You're, by, by golly gosh, you're like, doing a show. Fucking crush, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're doing, a, you're doing a musical yeah. comedy show. And what else are you doing? I'm doing a musical comedy show on the September 9th. Oh, yeah. uh, first time doing a full hour of music. I'm oh, doing Shad and Pete Save the World as part of that fantastic, oh, fantastic little festival. Fantastic. Um, the day after this podcast is released, if you happen to live in Brisbane, I'm doing a show uh, that we're doing monthly here. Well, we're putting it on together, actually. We've done this every month called mm-hmm. Brand Spanking. Mm-hmm. Comedians, friends and foes coming mm-hmm. along, doing all brand new material. Mm-hmm. It's very, very fun, very stressful. If you're a comedy nerd, I can't stress how much I think you would enjoy this, watching the sausage get mm-hmm. made. Um, and I will say this finally, uh, Cairns, Laughing Out Comedy, every single Monday night if you're up there. And myself and you will be up there August 29th. Oh, I forgot I'm about that. so very much looking forward to. I keep to. forgetting. Uh, that we're do- are we flying up on the Sunday together? We are flying up on Sunday together. You know what that means? Look, 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 lounge time, baby. We get a little bit of lounge time, but it's early. It's early lounge time. Don't care. Chalky croissant. Oh, that, that would be nice. I'm yeah. going to have And ch- um, I, I'm planning on uh, drinking a beer. Mm-hmm. When we get there, that's why we've gone up early, so we can drink mm-hmm. a beer on the back deck of Gilligan's, which we did one uh, time and had a wonderful evening. I'd like afternoon. to stop at the gym first. I found a nice gym near Smithfield. Yep. I want to say nice we gym. We can't stop at the gym first. We've got to go to Smithfield. It's completely in the opposite direction. But where are we going when we land? The Gilligan's to have a beer. F- first thing? Yeah. Well, can't go can, the gym. Mate, there's no real time. It's like barley. Well, you can't go to the gym after you've had a beer. It's weird. You can have a beer at the gym. You've right. never been to Jim's Beer and Gym? I've done one beer then, Jim. It's weird. Um, so we can do that. But if you live in Cairns, send us a message. We'd love to see you there. Come and say hello. <coughs> I know that there are a few people that listen to this podcast based in the great far north and we're so very much looking forward to seeing you, Rennell. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> if you listen, come, come say hello and I promise I will be warm and receptive as I have always been to podcast listeners when they approach me on the street. Why is your hand balling into a really tight white knuckled <laughs> fist? You have no idea what it's like to just be yelled at on the street. <laughs> <laughs> Jake! Uh, they go, uh, and they say the name of my I old podcast. I know what it's like to be yelled at on the street. They don't say my name. <laughs> and they're going very fast. Yeah, normally I just call you cunt. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like that. Thank you, Jake. Yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's the end of this week's episode. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you. We will be back next week with another horny edition talking about kangaroo shit. Thank you. Can't wait to get hard to that. Thank Take you. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Bye, Bye now. Bye now.